Hello, welcome back. Let's play Delta Force Extreme 2 as we can... As we, uh, start a new campaign, apparently. I thought this was gonna be, like, another mission slot, but apparently it's only five. I guess I would have realized that had I bothered to look at the map, but... So, anyways, on to Operation Sand Trap, which seems to... Okay, okay, we're north of China now, so it looks like we're starting in Mongolia, and then working our way down to... I believe that's Afghanistan. I'm not quite sure what that is. That's... That might be Tajikistan, maybe? That's Kazakhstan. And then this is Pakistan, so... Quite the journey we got here. Oops. So, the Sand Trap Campaign. Intelligence indicates that a major Central Asian arms network is employing active-duty military personnel from several former Soviet republics. Command has authorized a cross-border black operation to capture or eliminate several of the rogue officers. It is critical that the link between the arms dealers and a steady supply of weapons and chemical manufacturing capabilities be shut down. Satellite imagery indicates that there are possible manufacturing and storage facilities located in oil fields and isolated in the remote Tian Shan Mountains, Delta will infiltrate across the border using the cover of night, search for any indication of chemical weapons. <coughs> See me. Yeah, that sounds more like a mission briefing than a campaign briefing, but okay. So starting with Operation Whiteout. Mission, destroy the communications equipment at Objective Alpha and secure the area. Once the site is secure, move on to Objective Bravo, eliminate all resistance, and destroy the trucks carrying the completed chemical weapons and secure the area for the cleanup team. Situation. The stockpiles of chemical weapons that we destroyed in Sri Lanka and Uzbekistan had to come from a major production facility, and Command thinks that we have finally located it in another co-opted Soviet facility. This one across the border from the other in Tajikistan. The lead's attention has been raised with our attack on his other facility, and radar, radio chatter suggests that he intends to teach the West a lesson. The immediate destruction of his chemical weapons manufacturing capabilities is therefore top priority. There is no governmental approval of this mission, Bravo, so we cannot attract attention with a highly coordinated attack. You will be dropping in alone, and we will have to depend on the advantage of surprise. Destroy the facility and its weapon stockpiles. Good luck. Yay, Black Ops. Yes, hello, Ash. Okay, so... Mission briefing. Execution. Minor chem chemical weapons production facility has been located... Has been found located? Okay. Uh, hidden in and out of the way... Ash. I'm sorry. My cat is very desperate for attention right now. Um, he's been needing all needy all day. Um, where was I? It, uh, minor chemical weapons production facility has been found located hidden in an out-of-the-way oil drilling site. Operating covertly, the site appears to have minimal defenses. It consists of two areas. Objective Alpha is the oil drilling and storage site and also contains their comm systems and majority of the station's housing. Objective Bravo is the processing and shipping part of the operation. It is here that the raw chemicals are converted into usable chemical weapons. You will first hit Objective Alpha, destroy their communication systems, and secure the area. Next, you will secure Objective Bravo, neutralize any soldiers at the site, and destroy the trucks already loaded with finished chemical weapons before they escape. Sorry, my cat's stealing things now. <laughs> um, neutralize any soldiers at the site, and destroy the trucks already loaded with finished chemical weapons before they escape. When this is completed, the cleanup team will take care of the dismantling and disposal of the facility. We can't afford to draw attention, but we can afford to send in a whole cleanup team and dispose of this facility. How is that drawing less attention than a fucking armed assault on it? Uh, whatever. Uh, since we're supposed to be somewhat stealthy, we'll go with... Uh, really? Why can't I have... Whatever. We'll take the RPG-7, uh, just so we have something against the trucks at least. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just stick with the satchel charges. They might not be mobile. So it looks like we have Objective Alpha here. 
which has what are, are these oh two motorbikes and a truck all right apparently there's other people on our helicopter even though we're supposed to be doing a solo op and then we have this outpost with mountain bikes and then objective bravo which is a huge facility and a couple of uh pickups so I assume that's going to handle any need we have for rocket launchers or such, so uh, let's get in there. Bravo, it looks like they're loading those chemical weapons up for transport, so this is our last chance to get rid of them. Remember, we're operating without official approval here, so I'll take out their comms before moving on to the main facility. I'm just going to sit next to you. Ooh. He's using the rudder. Or, I guess, whatever passes as such on a helicopter, but, uh, seems to be missing a yoke or joystick. Alright, so I guess that's... Oh, that's the, um, that smaller outpost between the two. Alright, I guess they just want us to jump off, because we're just flying in circles, so why not? Whee! Aerial assault. Bad idea. But I'm doing it anyways. And apparently, stealth be damned. There we go. Take advantage of that hitbox there. Hello, my friend. Who is not react? One, two, three headshots to kill someone not wearing a helmet. Okay, I think we can call the uh, hitbox system in Extreme 2 complete bullshit. I wonder if it's easy. Because every once in a while, it looks like they die from just one sh headshot, but. I'm starting to wonder if it's like uh, Resident Evil style bullshit crit, uh, crit chance <laughs> that determines that. Uh, hearing a lot of hello. Hearing a lot of gunfire from over here. Are you guys like hanging around? You are. All right, fuck your window. Ah, uh, you are looking the wrong way. And you are guarding absolutely jack shit. <laughs> oh, gotta make sure no one goes in the sewer. That I probably can't even go into. Because this game does not allow the use of doors. I really don't like how fast bodies disappear. Like, I'd like to know that the people I killed are dead. Hi. I'm trying to reach you about your gun's extended insurance warranty. Oh, looks like you don't need it. Alright, uh, who's trying to shoot me now? Did I miss someone on a rooftop? Is that, is that what's going on here? Do I have to go hike up this hill? Why is the Chinook still hanging around? Uh, I definitely miss people. Up oh, there he is. Okay, I think we're good now. So that's the first two buildings clear in this cluster. No radios. Hello. Ah, oh, this must be the uh, radio room. Let me just uh, help take care of that for you. You. Say again, you're breaking up. Hey, someone was in here. That's nice. Free kill. Ow. Free bullets that I don't want. 
Look at these old CRTs. They look like they have integrated floppier cassette readers. The shape looks more cassette, but it's video game, so it's probably supposed to be like a floppy reader. I may as well destroy the uh, transmitter. And he gets bulletproof glass, apparently. You guys don't. You weren't worth the expense, apparently. And just for shits and giggles. Ooh, did that actually bounce in there? No. I think that killed someone, though. Ah, oh, that didn't make it through. Yeah, it landed on the roof. Oh, uh, oh, hello. I think that shot was a little bullshit, but I'll let you have that one. Alright, man, healing takes so goddamn long <laughs> in this game. I kind of wish for the older mechanics. Where it was just do or die. Which, I mean, you can still kind of play it like that. But I do feel like they're a little more accurate than uh, previous Delta Force games. In order to make up for the fact that you just kind of regenerate now. There we go. More C4 is always appreciated. There we go. Let's go secure this building. Which, uh... Seems to be uh, not very heavily populated. Oh, hey, okay, we're far enough away now. There goes their transmitter. And it looks like they have a rocket truck here. Or a MLRS truck, which... I would like to blow up with the satchel charge, but first we got these guys to worry about. That and my dwindling ammo reserves. They give you a lot for the MP5, which is nice, but, um... Since it does take, like... You know, uh, three rounds to kill someone, it's, uh... Kind of self-offsetting. I want to clear that building before I go into that one. All right, let's see here. No radio. And thank God there aren't, uh, there aren't shooters on, like, the oil tanks or something. That would have been really annoying. I see this must be your desk where you just stare out the door that, well, the door frame that doesn't have a door. Hello. There we go. See, he died in two shots, so I don't know what the, what the metric is for, uh, headshots here. But, um, There we go, right under the fuel tank. Let's get some good distance and let... Oh, hello. Oh, no, you're a motorbike. My bad, I thought you were a person. All right. And I think that's about everything in there. We could use the truck or motor bike to drive, but meh. Woo, that made a big boom. Then again, oil and explosives are generally known for not mixing well, so... <laughs> Let's 
Yep, that truck is out of commission. All right, on to the next objective. Which is going to be this little outpost, which hopefully, what do they give us for a pistol? Mark 23? Okay, I could use the little bit of extra power that will give us. I don't know why they just randomize your pistol like this, but instead of letting you choose it, like they did in just about every other game except the ones that had no choice between pistols. But whatever. Alright, so we are almost at our midpoint here. So we should be seeing some activity. I'm kind of surprised we're not. There aren't even patrols out here. Which is kind of spooking me a little. We are picking up a lot of radio chatter over encrypted frequencies. It sounds like it's coming from Elaine Khalid. We have a location on a high level meeting in Sri Lanka. This could be our chance. That radio transmission scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Come on. Alright, who's shooting at me? There you are. Okay, let's take you out. There we go. So we're at these ruins now. Yeah, I'm not dumb. Oh, damn, that landed almost right on me. Fine, it's fine. Really? There's like three people in here? Now I'm getting really spooked. I could also use some ammo. Because I have just about none left. And there's no way I can really start an assault on the facility with just a pistol. Well, shit, there's no one here. How are me spooked? Oh, do they have an airfield? They have a generic video game control tower, for one. Alright, did I check this area? I... sure. Okay, that's just the motorbike. No need to panic. No need to panic! There might be someone in there. Nope, it's an empty building, apparently. I'm not... Do I want to? That's the question. Ironically, this map would have probably been one of the better ones for a sniper rifle. Because of these long open ranges and clear fields of vision. Um, uh, I s we can use it to cover some ground quickly. But its utility is going to be pretty limited for us. Yeah, it's basically... <laughs> I could go in the middle of the base with it if I wanted to die, but I don't particularly want to die, so, you know, there is that. Okay. I will just assault the base with no ammo. It's probably not the first time I've done it. <laughs> In my eye. There we go. That should be most of the rooftop sentries. But these are pretty tall buildings with lots of windows, so I think we're gonna try to head for those rocks there. Oh, that's just my uh, motorbike self destructing. Nothing to worry about there. Business is normal.
There we go. We are now officially on our last magazine. And now we gotta find our way in. <laughs> Damn you, fences, for being an unbelievably difficult barrier to uh, penetrate. At least in video games. <laughs> Alright, they're trying to shoot me through the building. That's fine. Is that? No, it's not. For some reason, to my eyes, it looked like an open area. Hello. Hello there. Are you a person? You are. And now you aren't. Alright. Down to the pistol. Could really use some ammo. Whew. That stirred the hornet's nest. Oh, you know why? Because I'm using a loud weapon now. <laughs> because I don't have any ammo. Alright, finally an entrance. Alright. Go. Ammo. Mm, wait, what? Oh, I didn't pick it up properly, apparently. There we go. Delicious. Ah, hello! Person who was definitely not there before. Well, I suppose if they all want to leave the perimeter of their base, that suits me, kind of. Yeah, that's where I just was. Rooftop axis. Very good. Goodbye. Alright, most of these windows are fake, so I guess that's kind of a plus for us. Hello, returning patrol from somewhere. I don't want you to be a part of these events, so please don't. Yep, they got a fourth guy. Do they have a fifth guy? Do we have a fifth? No, we do not have a fifth. All right, well, oh shit. Uh, they do have another patrol coming from the other direction though. Come on. There we go. I'm kind of glad I caught these guys early though, rather than uh, get caught by surprise by them. There's another sentry. I don't think that's everyone, but I think it is a large proportion of people in this base. So I think now's the time to kind of slither throughout the base and see, uh, See what we can turn up. Alright, no one in here. So we can proclaim this one secure. We'll lay down some C4 here. What is our goal? Destroy the truck's loaded with chemical weapons. Okay. 
I don't think we're at any particular hurry since none of them have drivers. Oh, they have a fire... Well, this was a firefighting truck, I think, from uh, the very beginning of the first game. Or no, that might have even have been in uh, Delta Force Extreme 1. Fire slash oil truck, but uh, now it's just a stand-in for chemical weapons, I think. Uh, let's see here. All right. That's them gone. Let's get to a safe distance, blow what we set down so far, and see what that takes out. We do have to hit that warehouse yet, and that truck, but we need more ammo for that. Oh, this is open. Does it matter, though? I know if it gets me up on a ladder. Which has an air conditioning unit at the bottom? Or is that supposed to be like a heater so the snow doesn't accumulate? I am unsure, because I've never seen that before. And it's a bummer they nerf grenades, otherwise I'd just toss my grenades in there and that would probably have, uh... Ooh! Maybe I'll toss grenades in there after all. Hey, got someone. So, uh, not a complete waste. Ooh, that didn't hurt at all. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Ow, I don't know how you shot me when your gun wasn't pointed at me. Oh, well. It's not the first time, and it won't be the last. So I think this control tower is pretty much cleared out. And let me duck in here and uh, try to zoom the map in. Okay, now we can see. All that doesn't affect the minimap. That's actually kind of nice. Because it's a little annoying when games will, uh, you know, when changing your map or minimap size affects the other. So that's kind of, I kind of like that this one does them independently. Now I can see where, uh, where the, uh, ooh, that was a close one. I can see where the extra ammo or C4 charges are that I'm going to need to finish this mission. Which are all conveniently located in the building I have to destroy, so... I suppose I should be smart about this. Damn it. I never get these grenades right. I don't think anyone's in here, though. Which is... Oh, nope. There is definitely a person in here. <laughs> yes, you are sitting on my C4. All right, we'll just pop a charge down there. We'll pop another charge down here. And then we are getting the fuck out of here. Which I think we have to go through there. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, this is the wrong building. It's good to clear it out, but... And we'll top up our uh, C4 just in case. Yeah, I'm actually getting... I don't know why all of a sudden, but I'm getting a little... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. A little nostalgic for... Uh, I think that's supposed to be a part of one of those trucks. 
But it's getting me a little nostalgic for the C4 from Battlefield 2. Ah, those were the days. Oh well. That should be the chemical weapons. I just want to see if it will show uh, our NVGs on when the when it cuts to uh, that external camera for like the last second of the game. Uh, there's the Chinook. I guess the, the Chinook is supposed to be carrying the cleanup crews, even though we are the only person on it besides the pilot and a single gunner. They didn't even have a co-pilot. I like the detail, though. It's clearly a special ops one. Because I think that's supposed to be a fuel pod. Or, like, a receiver for uh, in-flight refueling. Ah, oh, damn it. Our angle wasn't great, but I think it did show us with, um, with MBGs on. And hey, when you look at that, we killed everyone on the map. Not too often we get that, but uh, we could have run around with impunity at this point. So, three objectives completed, 85 enemy personnel killed. The chemical weapons facility has been shut down and secured. Cleanup teams will handle it from here. The Desert Rat's weapons capabilities have been dealt a serious blow, but we must expect some blowback. Alright, so that'll do uh, today's episode. I am left wondering a little confused why they split this up into two campaigns, since these missions seem to very clearly... Like, you're supposed to be doing this after you did the first campaign, so it's like, why not just make it a single campaign but whatever i'm sure they had their reasons maybe it was uh artificially inflate their campaign count or something i don't know but but no we're off to a good start in this campaign i think so with that thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there and we'll see you then